Yorkshire and Humberside. Oh my word. Right, where do we start? I've got to say that the trendiest jacket I've seen in this chamber. Come on. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Arkham Wells Leeds, NYP from Leeds. Mental health, a, a motion that we've debated time and time again. A campaign that we've dedicated a lot of work towards. Why? Because we care about the future of this country. We care about the future of the young people of this country. And that is why I want to stand here and speak on a motion that I believe affects us the most, and yet we don't know about it. And that's the issue of Kashmir. Over 100,000 people have been killed. Women have been raped. Children have been blinded by the cruel and inhumane use of pentagons. And yet, NYPs, you might be sitting there rightly thinking, that's got nothing to do with my future. That's got nothing to do with this country. Well, let me inform you. The issue of Kashmir has got to a point that both nuclear-equipped countries, neighbours, Pakistan and India, are talking about potential nuclear war. A war which will be the most deadliest war ever witnessed by the human race, effects of which will be faced around the world. And I don't know, I don't want you to think for a second that I'm exaggerating this situation. These are not my assumption. These are the statements made by the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, in his speech in front of the world leaders just last month in the United Nations. NYPs, I urge you to not stand with the Kashmiris, to not stand with Kashmir because it might have a devastating effect on this country or it might have an effect on the future. But I want you to stand with Kashmir. I want you to stand with the people of Kashmir because we live in a country that's built on the notion of self-respect, individual liberty, tolerance and most importantly democracy. Then why is it when over 8 million Kashmiris are imprisoned in their own homes and can't leave their homes to get medical attention, can't leave to get education, that we stay silent? Why is it that when the right of self-determination is stripped off the people of Kashmir, we stay silent? We live in a country that doesn't just follow human rights, but it promotes human rights across this globe. So I urge everybody to stand up and speak up, and that's when we will have uh, freedom and we will, we will protect our environment and this planet. Thank you. I'm going to call.